glorious creation. The air and water that gave birth to the sky and earth, daughter and son. The earth was the physical world and the sky was the mental world. It was said that every night the sky swallowed the sun. Then in the morning the sky would give birth to the sun again like a child. After coming into being, the earth and sky had their own family consisting of one daughter and one son. The daughter was called mine and the son was called soul. Soul brought vegetation, fatherhood and wisdom to the world. He was later known throughout the ages by his nickname All Seeing Eye. Mine brought animals, motherhood and power. She was later known throughout the ages by her nickname Mother Nature. After many moons through evolution, all sorts of creatures came into being because of the wisdom and power which came from soul and mind. glorious creations. The air and water then gave birth to the sky and earth, daughter and son. The earth was the physical world and the sky was the mental world. It was said that every night the sky swallowed the sun. Then in the morning the sky would give birth to the sun again like a child. After coming into being, the earth and sky had their own family consisting of one daughter and one son. The daughter was called mine and the son was called soul. Soul brought vegetation, fatherhood and wisdom to the world. He was later known throughout the ages by his nickname All Seeing Eye. Mine brought animals, motherhood and power. She was later known throughout the ages by her nickname Mother Nature. After many moons through evolution, all sorts of creatures came into being because of the wisdom and power which came from soul and mind. Uh, during Women's Month, yeah. and it was 
I'd like it was a success and we're here again and it's Heritage Month. <laughs> yes. And we are with Nobonde Fisa Ngema and she's done an amazing piece for us again. And um, since we are celebrating Heritage uh, Month and as part of Africans, we embrace people like her and her work. So, um, I'm going to ask Kunumande a few questions and I want her to talk about the last auction that we did. Uguti, um, how did it go and who bought the painting? If she was comfortable with revealing that information. How much did it go for, for people who don't know what happened previously? And um, what was the feedback she got after the whole auction? So yeah, to you. <laughs> Hello everyone, Sambunani Nijani. It's your Chamula to have you on this show again. Um, my name is Nomo Defisa Gema. And I'm the artist and I'm based in Johannesburg. And this is uh, my second art auction. Um, and welcome everyone. So um, back to your question. Yes. The first auction we had was that of a lion. Okay, and uh, it was it was a great success. That art piece actually sold for ten thousand rands and ten thousand two hundred rands. <laughs> Which is also <laughs> 10,200 Emalangi and you. And uh, same, 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 same. <laughs> and it was uh, bought by um, Coffee Chat. Shout out to Coffee Chat and thanks for the support. And uh, the, the, the whole auction was such a great success. I mean, I had a lot of people, you know, just like saying they want to be part of this and I mean even other artists want to be part of this and I mean I'm still studying out you know over some time I'll involve other artists and their beautiful artwork so yeah we're here today and it's heritage month and um, we're going to be auctioning this art piece and this is basically an art piece just you know talking about uh, our African stories so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll explain everything as we'll get there, we'll slowly, get there. slowly, slowly. <laughs> yeah. So okay. anyone that wants to start the bidding, please feel free. Any amount is acceptable. Don't be shy. You can start bidding. I mean, the bidding is officially open. Yay! Let's go. <laughs> okay, Manda, I want to find out from you. Um, what does your work aim to do? Um. Behind the whole painting and yeah. Okay. So my my aim is to show people what I see through art. My aim is to tell African stories through art. My aim is to Find the word, find the word. <laughs> yeah, my aim is to basically just create and keep creating until I cannot create no more. And yeah, but most most of all, it's just to tell our stories. I mean, you still have. Oh, cheers. Cheers, na, 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 na. So, you still have other creatives like um, showing their art through music, you have other creatives showing their art through poetry. I'm just telling my story through art. Yeah. And do you want to tell us who influences you? Who is your biggest influencer? My well, biggest. <laughs> my biggest influencer is. Oh, should I say my biggest influencer was my dad? Okay. Yeah. So if you were part of the previous auction. You would have heard the story behind Daddy. <laughs> yeah. And how she got to her paintings yeah. and what encourages her, who she looks up to. So, yeah. And um, I want to find out, Uma and Nagutsi, um, who is your biggest 
Um, what's the word? What's the word? <laughs> Which word? <laughs> <laughs> well, who is your favorite artist? I mean to say, who is your favorite artist? Okay, um, my living favorite artist. Both is... living and the dead. <laughs> oh, living. And... Okay, the first artist that I ever actually got to see is my dad. I'll keep saying that, and Barry is passed on. So, the 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 the, the, the living ones is is um, Umam Eskamasha. Yeah. And um, do you want to tell us a bit about this painting that's going on auction? Okay. So um, this painting started off with basically a creation of uh, the world, mm -hmm. creation of planet Earth, how it all started, and this is our stories as Africans, you know. And growing up, I grew up with my granny over there. <laughs> Um, she used to share a lot of African stories and um, some of these stories even trace back to ancient um, Egypt, ancient Egypt, Kevin. So all these stories come down to the southern part of Africa and if you, if, if you look at these stories now, it's still the same story but just different environment, different um, place and yeah so with this one it's basically um a story of the mind and soul this is this is this is so this but every time the sun rises mm -hmm. it, 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 it 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 um it produces light into earth okay. and then that's um that's 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 the sun over there and you can see it, every every morning it rises and it brings light into earth. So those are the that's 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 um, <laughs> soul and that's his mind. Okay, this is soul. Yes, and this is mind. mind. So soul brings in the vegetation and farming and all of that stuff, and then mind brings in uh, breath, which is almost like mother nature, where okay. it's like animals growth and all of that stuff. So all of these things combine into how Earth actually started. Okay, take me to the spotlight. part. Okay, so this is a woman and this is a male. So this is Earth and this is the world. So Earth produces all of this. So when Earth and female... Wait. Two kids. <laughs> <laughs> two kids are born and these two kids, this is mine and this is soul. So okay. this is how this is basically the phase one of the African story. I'm still going to paint phase two. So for all you guys that have started this journey with me, you're still going to receive phase two, phase three, phase four of the story. So this is the first phase of the story. Stay with us, stick with us. Yeah. <laughs> and it would be nice to grow with this. Grow story. with us. Yeah. <laughs> grow into and these are the painting. stories we'll tell our grandkids. These are the stories we'll tell our great grandkids and it's so nice to have actually have our own African stories that we can tell to our kids. I mean for so many years we've been listening to how other cultures. But why did you focus mostly on African art instead of your contemporary art? It's a calling. <laughs> it's a calling. I can't explain. African it. woman. Yeah, it's a calling. I can't explain it. And um, I mean, even when I look back now, the paintings I used to do when I was a teenager are still similar to what I'm doing now. And I'm so blessed that my mom actually kept those paintings. And one day I'll you actually show. Them. Yeah, I'll show them <laughs> to the world. And. So it's, 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 it's just a journey. I, I, I've tried doing other mediums and experimenting with other art, artworks, mm -hmm. but it still draws me back to this. And why do you think art is important as African? Well, art, art is important for us Africans because we are born with the talent of art. It's, it's an idea, as Africans, art is an idea. For some people, it's more activated than others. Some people have, I mean, I have a friend who's, who's good at cooking. You know, we can all cook, however, but that's her calling, you know. Shout out to Tabillian. I said. 
and I mean, she's a chef. She cooks, you know. She also started doing it now, and she's really found her purpose in life. So that's also her art. And then I also have a, a friend who's also doing baking. She also started doing it now, and that is her art. We can all bake, but she specializes on that. And her name is Sammy. Hi, Hi Sammy! Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> so, all, I mean, us as Africans, let me speak for us as Africans, we are born with a certain talent. Some people get the chance to, to, to actually do something about that talent and even make money out of it. And yeah, and just to add on that one, I like to think African art tells a lot of untold stories. Right. Depending on how you want to put it as an individual, yeah, and your perspective of being an African yeah. in general. So yeah, I think it's just there's a lot to tell behind um, African paintings because I feel that like there's a lot of stories that are never told in the yeah. past. Definitely. And future generations will never know about it. Oh yeah. So I mean, it's our chance to to, to tell our own stories. It's our it's our time now. And I mean, the world wants to listen. Yes. You know. So I, I can actually say it's it's perfect timing. Mm. So yeah, what a time to be alive. Where's the volume? Where's the volume? <laughs> Acrylic okay. with a bit of texture. As you can see, this texture here, this texture here, and the, 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 the print here has texture as well. So, yeah. So, this texture here, and the trees there, and the, 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 the oh, river. Okay. Yeah, so there's texture with some areas, and uh, it's all acrylic. And the size of this is. Um, one by 1.5 meters. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, so far, how are the beads going? Are we there? Not yet. Okay. Has, we, can, we can start beading. Please feel free. Don't be embarrassed. Ninga <laughs> sabi. Ninga sabi, please. You are not under pressure. You shouldn't be under pressure. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
standard yeah, yeah. prices, I mean, they are. Because I don't do small ones. Like, I feel like it's just a waste of time. Either you go big or you go low. But that's the smallest you've done. The smallest I've done is like your 90 by 60. Um, yeah, uh, I prefer the big ones because I use a lot of texture. So you can actually feel it. You can actually feel it. Yeah. 
Give me two seconds. Sorry guys, we're doing everything ourselves. Wow. <laughs> so, two seconds done. <laughs> okay. So, how do we do that as parents? How do we nature that? We need to then find a way of supporting our kids. But I know, Shane, for other parents, it's a matter of I'm not going to allow my child to do art because people don't understand it. And it's still new for some people. They're still trying to. Guys, there's money in art. Like, there's, there's serious money in art. It's like a billionaire's game. And, and it can take you all over the world. I mean, I'm from France, honey. You never tell us about your France experience, by the way. We never got to that part. Yeah, you want to talk about so it? Do you want to brag about it? Uh, yeah, I will get there. But I mean, I, I make a good living out of art. You know, I mean, I get at least two clients a week. You know, and some, some these are like private clients, and I really cannot showcase their work to anyone. But if you visit people's houses, you'll see these art pieces and you'll remember me saying this. But also yeah. now, parents, just make sure that you encourage your kids with whatever they want to do. And okay. they support them. Right. So support your kids, man. Like just also teach them how to make a living out of something they really love. Besides. And it's okay to be awkward and just like do your own thing. It's okay. You know? <laughs> we don't mean we, we can't all we can't all be doing. Oh my gosh! We on? We on? Nine thousand. Nine thousand. Nine thousand. Available. Sounds like one, right? Whatever you represent. <laughs> so 
this, this, will be going, this will be going this will be going away but however my people in africa i love it so much this we can have it on print and we can take it to your house and you can so do i still have the option of choosing the frame yeah okay so you can choose whatever frame that you want for print work and i can yeah i can give you the options and advise you and then you select the one that you want and then I have it printed for you and I can have it drop off for you. So DM me if you're really interested in this piece and this one will be 40,000 rands on print. So please feel and free one to. One thing I wanted to find out, okay, let's say whoever takes this painting home yeah. decides they want something added onto the painting. Is that like an extra charge or you do it for free? Something added like what? The frame. Because um, no, nothing can be added here on staff. Okay. This is done. There's not, no changing or whatsoever. Okay. Even yeah. So the only thing that the client can decide on is the frame. Just the frame around it. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, you can do it so. Yeah. And then if you want to be creative when as a client, that's when we can talk about your portraits. We can talk about uh, if you like a sunset, maybe for example, I can do a sunset for you. If you like any sunrise, now you're yeah. sunrise. And if you like, I don't know, landscapes or something, I can do that for you. But that now that's your idea, and I just bring in the artwork. So yeah, and also another thing that people need to know is that you cannot. Now I'm just teaching people. You cannot give another artist an artwork from another artist yeah. and ask them to convert it for you in your style. That is just, it's wrong and it's not allowed in the art world. So I'm just saying that guys, moving forward, let's try to be original and don't copy other people's work. Like, don't come to me and give me someone else's art piece and ask me to do it for you. That's not allowed, that's illegal. So let's try and talk about new ideas. Let's try and create our own stuff. Yeah. And uh, do you participate in like um, art fairs? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. But do you know of any that you'd like to attend? I've attended a lot of them and I, I, I haven't showcased my work at an art fair as yet. Okay, tell me something. Yeah, I've got a question. So, given what would be your ideal setup environment if you had to showcase your artwork? What Think of a place that you'd love to oh. showcase your artwork. Okay. How you picture it to be inside? Who said it's gonna be inside? Okay. <laughs> <wait. Yeah. laughs> Okay, wherever. I, I would honestly like to showcase my art by the beach somewhere. Preferably Sodwana Bay, because that's my favorite beach in Guazulu Natal. Okay. So have, oh my gosh, I can <laughs> see it. Have all the artwork there and have like people sitting and just like watching all the artwork, but with the beach background, the sea background. Yeah, yeah, and the waves, the sand. And then there's also a season where the whales actually cross Lapa uh, by the, 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 the beach going to Australia. Ah, it's a beautiful sight, guys. So I, I, I don't know, I, I, this is how I see my art being portrayed. Okay. Yeah. So I like that. I like, I like Wait, everyone is just wearing all black, most probably. Yeah, or even like summery clothes and all of those things. But yeah, that vibe. And hopefully it doesn't rain that day. But, yeah. And everyone is walking barefoot by the beach. So, and just like so what? What's, having champagne. So what's stopping you from doing it? Money. We need money. <laughs> Money, oh, 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 oh. We need money, but yeah. Once the and money is time there, and date. Yeah, once the money is there, I'll definitely do it. I, I owe it to myself. Okay. Yeah. But for 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 a sh what what do you call it? For exhibition. A for an exhibition like that, do you focus on uh, a specific um, what do you call it? What what what? Do you focus on a specific theme of paintings? We all know your paintings are black and white with a touch of color. 
or you focus on African uh, paintings, or it will just be a mix. It will be a mix. It will be a mix. You know, I don't, I don't want to now brand myself too much as I only do this. Okay. So I, I actually do everything from abstracts to fine arts to everything. This is just my signature. Look, this is where. Yeah. This is where I feel comfortable with. I've got a heavy hand. With thick images and, and very solid, strong images. And you still find the animal artists love very fine, very faint, and yeah. yeah. So everyone has a different hand when it comes to painting. Okay. I'm not sure if uh, you guys uh, watching have got questions that you'd like to ask Unamonde yeah. or whatever more information you'd like to get from her. And how do people actually how do people contact you? Or oh, they can send me a DM. I guess the people. So that's that what that's on Instagram? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so then once you send me a DM and if you want to, 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 to get um, artwork, then we exchange numbers. Because then it shows that you are interested in, you know. Because I can't just give out my number to you, but like you still get clouds. I just wanna yeah. waste your time. Waste your time. Let's keep it professional. Let's keep it professional. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that, you know. But yeah, we are at forty thousand rands, and still so at 40, far, still at forty. So far, this artwork is going to the United States of America. Unless like, someone else has Unless someone that. locally decides otherwise. But yeah, that's where it's going. And whoop whoop. to do is to bring in like a little baby artist and just like help in their work. Oh yeah, nice, right? Yeah, like a little kid. Guys, if you know any child who's an artist, uh, let's say maybe around the ages of 10 to 12, it can be a boy or a girl, it's fine. So for the next show, if you can just tag them or DM them and, 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 and tag me on their page or whatsoever, and then I'll decide who to bring on the show and actually just like auction their work and inspire them that way. Yeah. That's so cute. And yeah, share that little Let's make the money. We'll use that money for something else. So this is me now giving back to charity. And yeah, I'm willing to go and collect that baby wherever they stay. And preferably around South Africa. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Wait! Driving to Cape Town. Wait! Okay, no, it's fine. So, preferably around Joburg, somewhere in Joburg, or their parents can bring them either. But yeah, that was so cute. And then that child can just like have their art piece somewhere and use that money maybe for school fees or to buy an iPad for teens. Or <laughs> and Roblox. And Roblox. Or whatever the kids do. Like, that would be nice. So, please tag that baby if you know them. And yeah, we'll bring them here and we'll see the artwork and I'll ask them questions and yeah, we want the little artists. Yes. So, no more day. Mm. No more day. <laughs> when uh, do you think the next auction will be? Okay. So, I'm trying to have at least one auction a month. And yeah. One auction a month, I think that's that's just fair. I don't want to now bombard people with my face and my art. And I hope you guys can handle once a month. Yeah, I mean, it's for now until if you've got any complaints, please let us know as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for now, I think I'll have the auction once a month and then, yeah. Okay, that is good. That is good. We've yeah. got how many minutes to go? Um, 15. 15 minutes to go and we're still sitting on 4K. Okay, once a month is good, they say. So, once a month, we are every As Sunday a, on yeah. Instagram Live from 6 p.m. till 7 p.m. Yeah. And don't be late. Being late is not good. 
Because you could have been watching somebody else, but you're here watching us. And also, if you have anything that you feel like you can add on, or if you know any sponsors, I saw something about acting. Is that for real? Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm to see those guys on your screens. <laughs> no, but not awesome. something. Hello, Hello Maya. Maya. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder. We almost <laughs> missed that one. Yeah. <laughs> Question, I saw something about acting, is that for real? <laughs> the commercials. Yes. Oh yeah. It could only be those. Yeah. <laughs> and I do get like your 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 <laughs> two seconds. No seriously guys, no crazy. Oh that too, <laughs> yes, I do that. So. You yeah, have to <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No slowing down. So um yes I do commercials. So sometimes I'm working behind the scenes, sometimes in front of the camera and yeah, it's also good man, it's, it's extra income and yeah, I just do everything, like I really do everything, so it's good, it's good stuff. But when did you realize your face is good enough for TV? Uh, then we can actually pull it off. Oh, I took my kids to an agency to sign up because they want to be stars and I'm okay being there in the camera. Yeah, yeah. But now when we got there, uh, what happened is that as I was signing up my kids, my, uh, the, my agent actually said, why don't you join? I'm like, join for what? They're like, no, just join and you go for casting. Thank you, Marisky. <laughs> you, you go for casting and all of those things. And I'm like, ah. I've got nothing to do, let me just yeah. do it. Yo, then bam, bam, bam. Now I'm on my ninth commercial. So you've been with, I know, you've been with Spa. Sure, yeah. Spa, Fences and Money. Fences and Money. The latest one is BP. You've been with her. Uh, McDonald's. McDonald's, Suzuki as well. Suzuki. Yeah, we did Noodles. Spa. Spa, we did Wisconsin Spa. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, and there is. Yeah, but they're like nine. Of, oh, oh, legalize. Oh, legalize. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they always laugh at me like, yeah. I'm the mother of the nation. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. What's, what's that legalized line again? Uh, that line is. Uh, uh, Call me, call my lawyer. No, no it's not call me. No, no it's not that one. It's uh, that's my lawyer, just in case. Yeah, that's the line. That's the line. So yeah, man. Good stuff. So guys, we've got uh, how many minutes to go? Ten, Ten minutes to go. Almost time up that you guys can relax, enjoy your Sunday, yeah. and prepare for your Monday. We're going in hard, we're going in strong, yeah. and all the best for the week. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us today and just like you know, being part of this auction. And yeah. So I'm guessing uh, no questions from you guys, no comments, and should you ever feel uh, you'd like to contribute or participate or engage with us more, or if you feel you could also collaborate with no more there in any way, feel free to contact her yeah. let us know and if you feel there's also a way of us improving yeah let us know bring your ideas as well bring suggestions yeah so feel free to do that yeah don't be shy if you feel also we're not smiling enough <laughs> let us know, <laughs> let us know. <laughs> It can only get better. Yeah. Right? And five minutes to go, guys, and we're still sitting on 40k. 40k yeah. seems like the painting will be going to the USA. Yeah. You have to get ready to get Yep. You have to get ready to get
How many minutes left? Two minutes to go. Two, Two minutes, minutes to go. go.